Okay. So people have been asking me about this silly saw I made. Um, uh, I built a lumber mill for about a hundred bucks using mostly garbage uh, from the scrapyard and I bought a couple pieces. One is this motor here. It's the most expensive piece. It's a two horsepower DC motor. Costs 80 bucks. I got a couple ball bearings right down here. They're used as a guide for the uh, blade to go between and there's uh, one, I don't know if you see it back under there. Let me see from the side better. That keeps the blade from, you know, going backwards and then the same setup over here. Uh, I bought the belt that runs around the motor. Everything else we found. Spare tire on the side of the road, another spare tire on the side of the road. Uh, a bunch of steel from the scrapyard. Old roller blade wheels to run on. This was just, I don't even know where the steel pipe came from. Um, oh yeah, and the bandsaw blade, which is kind of the most important part, uh, was broken. I got it for free from someone else who happens to have a lumber mill. And it was broken right here, and I welded it back together. Um, it seems to work, be working pretty good. Alright, I almost forgot. And then I also have this uh, rope that hooks on here, which is the first thing you saw in that video. It goes up there, up to the top, and has a weight down at the bottom right now. But you know, when you pull the saw back, the whole thing goes up, and then uh, it keeps pressure on the blade to slowly pull the saw right through the whole log, uh, so you don't have to sit there pushing on it. Um, and that's about it. Um, yeah. Okay, and the point of all the silliness, I'm not just cutting wood for no reason, is to make the joist for my tower. This is the second floor of the tower, right up there. And I left bark on a lot of them because it doesn't really matter. And then floorboards. Um, I really like these because they're like, I don't know, a foot and a half wide. It'd be pretty hard to find those at the store without paying a fortune. Um, so, I'll get this floor done, and then just keep going up. I don't know if you can see that stick way, way up there. That's the top of the tower currently. Uh, and I'm hoping to make floors all the way up to that. And there's another one. Anyway, so, uh, work on the uh, workshop's going pretty good. As I've mentioned before, uh, I don't, I'm not on the grid or anything because I live on, the, on a mountain in the middle of the woods. Uh, so I got, here's my generator, it's powering the lumber mill. Uh, so I have to keep going to get gas every couple days. Oh, and here's my welder, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I guess I didn't show you guys a picture of it before. But anyway, that's it. I don't know if anyone knows anything about welding, but this little thing here is kind of like the glue gun of uh, welders and you just pull the trigger here and uh, it's basically like molten metal comes out of it uh, in a nutshell.